Geographically, Nepal is a South Asian country comprised of 14 zones and 75 administrative districts. Well-known identity of Nepal is the country of high mountains, interesting biodiversity and multicultural society. The districts Gorkha, Lamjung, Manang, Mustang, Myagdi, Parvat and Khaski are world famous trekking destinations of Annapurna circuit. This route is the best way to see the exclusive natural panorama along with uncountable and beautiful hilltops streams, brooks, cascades, waterfalls, lakes, ever white shining snow-covered peaks, hilly villages, Himalayan settlements, as well as beautiful pilgrimage sites like Muktinath, Kagbeni, Hot Spring, Pokhara's Tal Barahi and Bindyabasini Temple. Tourists are attracted to Nepal mainly for trekking, expedition, leisure tours and adventure sports. Trekking in the Annapurna circuit is one of the primary attractions for all the tourists looking for mountain adventure. We begin our trekking trip from Kathmandu soon after we reach Thankot. We follow Prithivi Highway along with Trishuli River Bank. From Mungling, the left highway goes to Chiton by crossing a landmark bridge over Marsyangdi and Trishuli rivers. Dubri is our next and the final town on the highway from where we take a right turn to follow Besi Sahar. Beshi Shahar is district headquarter of Lamjung. The distance of Kathmandu to Beshi Shahar is just six hours comfortable drive. After having some rest in Beshi Shahar, we proceed through gravel road to reach Bulbule Bazaar. Once we look around surrounding area, we can see falls, brooks and natural scenery. And this road along riverbank will take us to Siange. Siange Bazaar is our first camp as we start from Kathmandu. Next morning, after breakfast, we get ready to proceed. Immediately we encounter a spectacularly big and beautiful waterfall before our eyes and we start our trek. This whole area with Marsyangdi River making noise with melody and all surrounding places seem to be blessed to look like heaven. How wonderful! Such villages on the way of Annapurna circuit. As we proceed, we can see more beautiful hilly landscape with steep hills, 
with beehives. Once, a film on honey hunting in such steep hills was a topic of discussion worldwide. After walking for about 10 minutes from Thal village, we can see beautiful waterfall in Upside Hill. We can see many beautiful waterfalls almost every day. This is one of the real beauties of Shangri-La. Annapurna circuit trek follows from Siangi to Tal, Dharapani, Bagarchap, Danakyu and finally reaches Chami district headquarter of Manang after two days. Walking for 30 minutes from Chami, we reach Toliku village and again in another hour we reach Bratang village. We can see apple farming under the stone cliff which looks like glass wall. When we look around, we can see pine forests that revitalizes the trekkers. We reach Pisang village quite fast. This village has settlement of Gurung people where we visit Buddhist monastery as well. Hence, most of the people in this region are Buddhist and worship Lord Buddha. From Pisang, in about one hour walk, we can reach Deurali. From here, we can see half portion of Manang Valley and Hungre village, as well as Hungre airport in Manang. Walking through Deurali, Hungre and Sabjikola, while crossing the bridge, we can see Nepal Mountaineering School, which was established in 1984. We enter into Braga village after crossing this Marsyangdi river. Village settlement of Braga looks unique. It looks as if houses are attached to steep hill bottom. After a half hour trek, we reach Manang village, which covers a large area. Manang, popularly known as Trans Himalayan district of Nepal, has good hotels, lodges, shops to provide good service to tourists that is famous for its unique but beautiful local settlement. From here, we can see lovely and gorgeous Mount Annapurna 2, 3, 4, Mount Gangapurna and ever-shining Tilicho Peak. Another attraction of this place is Gangapurna Glacier Lake at the bottom of Mount Gangapurna. From Manang village, we can reach Tenki village, Chauri Kharka. This group has come to summit Mount Chulu West. They have trekked from Manang to Ledar and then avoiding the main route of Annapurna circuit, they have trekked upward to Mount Chulu West base camp. Mount Chulu West base camp is located at 4,600 meters. Groups prepare with early breakfast and start to ascend towards high camp after showing proper respect to prayer flags on the way. Okay. While climbing Chulu West, mountaineers have to reach high camp, camp one and then summit. Mm -hmm. 
This scene is of the spots just below High Camp, which is very beautiful. On the third day, we start early to the summit. So in total, three nights, climbers can reach the top from base camp. Climbers have to bring about 300 meters or little more of fixed rope to climb this. The high camp is at 5,100 meters Camp 1 at 5,800 meters and the summit is 6,419 meters. The most difficult part is from 5,100 to 5,800 meters which is too steep, stony way covered with snow up to the top in reality. Many mountaineers come to climb this mountain because of its convenience, great views and decent location. Next day, in the early morning, after enjoying tea or coffee and reach to the summit of Chulu West Peak in top. Take some rest and take some good photo shots. Then descend down three to four hours to reach base camp. The next day reach Chaurikharka Oledar to join the main route of Annapurna circuit to reach Thoranla Fedi for night halt which is 4,550 meters from sea level. From Torinla bottom, we can reach the top in about five to six hours. This Thorangla Pass lies at 5,416 meters above sea level. There is one tea shop and a signboard as well. This is the highest point of Annapurna's circuit trekking. Every trekker is much excited and rejuvenated by it. The most spectacular views in western side is Mount Dhaulagiri and its range, Tukuche Peak and many more queuing up to be seen and in the southern side the mighty Annapurna range always smiling. Hence, Trekker's happiest day is today at Thorangla passing, quite strenuous and still such adventurous. The trail will be steep at first, then downward and again straight as we trek to Muktinath temple. A holy shrine visited by millions of Hindu and Buddhist pilgrims from all over the world each year. Riding jeeps are available to reach Jumsum from Muktinath. Those tourists who do not take flight from Jomsom to Pokhara have the choice of overland trip by bus or jeep via Marfa, Ghasa, Rupsi Chhara or waterfall, Tatupani and Beni. Beni is connected to Pokhara by all-weather road. After spending a night in Pokhara, we return to Kathmandu. These attractions make the travel unforgettable. 
Annapurna Circuit Journey is organized and managed professionally by Monte Rosa Treks and Expedition Private Limited. This is how we have successfully completed the world famous Annapurna Circuit Trekking with Chulu West Peak Expeditions, having very new experience, full of joy. <laughs>